Hey my Hollow Knight friends and welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to show you how to defeat Radiant No Eyes. I think that we can all agree that the Radiant Arena of No Eyes is one of the worst boss arena Hollow Knight has to offer. For me personally Markrot is just slightly worse. This right here is the loadout I'm going to use. My main damage output is going to be Nail Arts in combination with Nail Master's Glory. And because I'm using Nail Master's Glory I don't need to use strength because strength doesn't enhance nail art. One dash slash doesn't give a whole lot of soul so therefore I'm going to use soul catcher with soul eater so we earn a lot more soul by doing damage with a dash slash. And spell twister allows us to do spells with less soul than usual. I also have steady body equipped. You don't need this charm at all for this strategy but I had just one north left so therefore it's there. And with that being said let's get into the gameplay. Alright, the strategy of this fight is uh, very simple. I'm going to use this middle platform as a returning point because I find it easy to avoid the ghosts on there. Whenever Noise is on the left, I will attack her with a Great Slash and whenever she's on the right, I'm going to use Shade Soul on her. And that is where Shaman Stone comes in. Not only you do more damage with it, but your Shade Soul is also bigger. The reason I chose the left is because I find it easier to attack her there than the right side. But if you feel comfortable there, just go for it. You can also use a Bishwick on her when she's above you. However, it is not a very consistent. Because whenever you hit her, she has a 33% chance to teleport away. Therefore, it's very rare you do full damage with a Shriek. I also advise to be careful with your double jump. If you don't have to use it, then don't do it. Because sometimes you jump somewhere and suddenly a ghost appears and your double jump will save your life. And if you use double jump, make sure that your shade has a charge so you can dash through the ghost. If you don't have either and you're about to get hit, just try to spam Descend the Dark because the iframes can save your life. And that is how easy it can be. Two things I want to mention before I go and the first one is pretty obvious but always dart first and attack later. And I was also talking about attacking on the left with a great slash but you can also do this easily in the middle as you could see from the gameplay. And as always I will show you a second different gameplay without commentary and if you like what you saw please consider a like and or subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye bye.